Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I will show you how to get the Distance Horizons mod in Minecraft 1.21.1. As you can see, everything's working just fine. I'm already in Minecraft 1.21.1, as you can see in here. And uh, the Distance wor um, <laughs> distance Horizons mod is working just fine. So let me show you how to actually get it. It's pretty quick and uh, also free. So let's go right into this. So the first step for you is to go to the video description and there are five different links so please click on all of them. The first one is for Distance Horizons mod for Mega 1.21.1. Uh, once you get in here, please scroll down. You can take a look on the screenshot or you can read the articles. Uh, and then click on Download Distance Horizons mod. The next link is for Fabric. And what we actually need is Fabric AP only. We don't need Fabric because we will install it a different way. Uh, the next link is in the mode for Minecraft 1021. So again, scroll down and make sure you download just the Indian mode, not fabric. Uh, now, finally, we get to the uh, Iris shaders. So this is why we don't need fabric because we just download Iris shaders and we check that uh, we will install Iris plus fabric. It's in the installer. Uh, the last thing we will need is the sodium mode to make uh, the Minecraft faster. So please again scroll down and download sodium mode and uh, take all those modes and drop it on the desktop. So once you have all these modes uh, on the desktop like I do, you need to go to the window search bar, type in percent app data percent and hit enter. This will open up the roaming folder for us and now go to the dot Minecraft, go to modes, so find modes. Here it is and let me show you which mods you need to take and drop it into the mods folder. So the first one will be the indie mode, then the distance horizons mode, fabric AP and the last one is the sodium fabric. That's all uh, you need to take and drop in the mods folder. Now double click on iris installer, a window will pop up for us and let's select the game version. So it would be the 1.21.1 and let's use the installation type Iris plus Fabric. That's why we uh, didn't need to download Fabric. Now hit install and wait a bit. As you can see, an existing uh, mod folder was found. So hit yes. And we can close this and the Iris Fabric was installed. So we can actually close this folder now and let's open up Minecraft Launcher. Uh, one more thing uh, as a bonus, I will give you a link for the Bliss Shaders for Distance Horizons mod. It's in the it's down in the description as well. So we will need to choose the fabric loader 1.21 that version. And before we hit play button, go to the installations, find your version. So the fabric loader 1.21.1, hit three dots, hit edit, and uh, hit more options. And now under GVM, GVM arguments, you can see 2G. So I'll use 16G, but you have to use 50% of your RAM's capacity, okay? Uh, we do this for better performance. So I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, so I would use 16G, but if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you would use 8G, okay? I hope I understand. So hit save, go to play, and again, make sure we're launching the current version and hit play. It may download something, as you can see, it's already downloading, but it's pretty fast. And now we will be in our game. So give it a bit until we get to the Minecraft menu and I'll show you how to activate everything, how to make sure everything's working just fine. So you you see a blank screen that's because I, I have Minecraft on full screen and I'm recording through OBS. So as you can see, Minecraft 1.21.1 slash fabric, go to the single player, choose your word. My, my word is Sherlock, as you may know. So one sec. And here we are, I already turned on the Bliss shaders, but as you can see, it's working. So if I have press escape options, you can see the distance horizons mod in here. Make sure that you enable rendering. And in my uh, case, I will use 50, uh, 500 and 12 render distance because it's, it's, it's good for me and I've got a high end PC, so I can afford that. But if you want to have the best settings for distance horizons, mod you need to check out my channel because uh, i've just uploaded a video on that topic and also yeah if you go to the video the settings it just looks like sodium so here are the shaders you can use the shaders and everything's working just fine so thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope i have helped you if you've got any questions just 
ask me down in the comments. I'll literally help you with everything. Thank you so much, guys, and see you soon.